Fujication. Um, and if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Be sure to subscribe to stay updated on uh, all my videos. So today I wanted to share another recipe video with you guys. Um, it's another simple, quick, delicious recipe that I'm sure you'll love. And so this is going to be a uh, probiotic fermented hemp seed yogurt. Um, you know, raw vegan hemp seed yogurt. So this is really a great recipe to use in smoothies, um, salad dressings, you know, just throw it on your salad, um, anything like that. And I also enjoy just eating it plain. So I guess we'll go ahead and jump into the recipe. So I'm just going to be using some hemp seeds here, um, water, and probiotics. So, you know, like I said, really simple. Three ingredients. Um, really quick to make too. So, we're going to start with uh, about two cups of hemp seeds. Alright, next we're going to be adding the water. And this is the one part of the recipe where you want to be a little cautious. Um, the ratio is about one to one um, for the hemp and the water, but I like to start off a little lower than one to one just to make sure I don't get the yogurt too thin. Um, so I'm going to be starting by adding about a cup and a half of water and we'll see how that goes. You know, it is a little thinner than I would like it, so I am going to add a few more hemp seeds in there just to bring the thickness of the yogurt up. So I'm going to add about another half cup of hemp seeds. Um, so maybe if you start off with two cups of hemp seeds, maybe start with one cup of water and see how that th thickness is. And then you can always add more if you want. Yeah, and so this is much better, you know, a nice thicker yogurt consistency like I was looking for. So now uh, we have the hemp and uh, water blended up. So we're just going to add a couple scoops of probiotics. And so, you know, by fermenting the hemp seeds, the probiotics start to already break down the amino acids um, that are in the seeds. So that way the protein is more absorbable, absorbable excuse me, to your body. Um, and it's just easier for your body to process these uh, proteins that are in the hemp seed. seeds, the water, and the probiotics, it's ready to go. So this by itself will taste, you know, like hemp seeds. So if you don't like the taste of hemp seeds, feel free to maybe add some dates in there to sweeten it up, or some vanilla powder, or carrot powder to give it a chocolate flavor. Um, but I'm going to be leaving it plain just because I like to add it to smoothies. And I find that when I add it to smoothies, um, it gives the smoothies a nice creamy consistency and well as and as well as uh, salad dressings that I made. So, now what we wanna do is just grab a, a mason jar um, and just pour it right in there. So you can see, you know, the yogurt consistency that I was looking for. Um, so yeah, this was about two and a half cups of hemp seeds and one and a half cups of water. All right, so now that we got that made, um, what you're going to want to do is just set the lid on here. Um, this is for the fermentation process, so you want to make sure it's not sealed completely. Um, so you just set the lid on there and then you can let it sit on the counter for four to six hours. Um, and then by that time, the fermentation 
uh, will have started and you know you can throw it in the refrigerator and it will be good for probably up to a week or two um, I would say probably two weeks and yeah if you don't want to do the faster four to six hour um, fermentation process you could also just go ahead and screw the lid on and then throw it in the refrigerator like it is and that would allow for a slower culture um, and so that's actually what I'm going to do so I'm going to just screw the lid on tight throw it in the refrigerator and then I would say after four to five days um, the yogurt will be culturized and ready to go so at that point um, I would start using it in my salad dressings and whatnot and also you can let it culture for up to two weeks if you want um, but you know the longer you wait the stronger and tangier the yogurt will be so that's really per up to your personal preference um, but other than that, I think that's everything I wanted to share with you guys today. I really hope you uh, enjoyed this recipe video and be sure to, to try it out. Um, I know these culturized yogurts are something that I'm going to be implementing more into my diet. Um, you know, it just makes sense given the state of our environment and the, our food sources. And, um, you know, so I really think it's beneficial for us. And overall will help uh, increase your health and vitality and whatnot so like i said thanks for stopping by checking out this video be sure to give it a thumbs up leave a comment let me know what you thought um and also check out my instagram if you want to see more recipe uh recipes and what i eat in a day um that might be interesting to some of you guys out there but anyways i appreciate it and i'll see you later